Hello. Welcome to this little intro to mono printing without the press. This is a jelly plate, an artificially made gelatin that doesn't dry up in the refrigerator and doesn't get all cracked and, and broken. It stays supple and easy to use for a long time. I've had mine since for over 10 years. Uh, today I'm going to demonstrate just some very quick tips on how to use the jelly plate. You will notice that in my hand I have a brayer which is the magic tool for jelly printing. The, the secret of a good print is how nice and thin and smooth you can get your paint to lay on the plate. I'm just using inexpensive craft paints with this. And the nice thing about this type of printing is that it does the job. You don't have to have very expensive tools or expensive supplies. And you can print on anything, plastic wrap, paper, uh, packaging tape, watercolor paper. Every, every bit of painting, printing surface that you use will give you a different feel for this art form. This is a metallic paint. Um, it has a different finish with a little bit of sheen. And of course, you'll see that how I've made use of all my credit cards that I don't use anymore. This is now going to be the second layer. And that, you will learn, is the real joy of jelly printing. You can create layer after layer just almost as fast as you can pull one print and set up the next print, the first one will be dry. The thin coating and the use of the acrylic makes it so much fun just to be able to do a whole series in a short period of time. This shows you another inexpensive tool that you can make for, for printing. This was a strip of acrylic that I probably took off of some packaging and I just cut the openings, I punched the holes and voila, you don't have to spend a lot of money at the craft stores and online and at the you know, with all of the amazing, amazing billion dollar industry of art supplies, you actually feel good about making some of your own tools and your own supplies. The end result is that your, your art becomes more unique. It becomes more your identity. This is such a luscious blue. This is a hand-cut botanical print. And when you pull a print like this, <clears throat> you can actually plan ahead and then use that paper print cut out so that you have those images as, um, as collage materials. Yum. You notice that I just allow these two colors just to play together. I don't clean off my brayer in between. If you don't want the colors to mix, 
what you would do is you would roll off whatever excess is on your brayer to a scrap paper next to your plate. You would keep doing that all through your printing, and at the end, you would have a wonderful um, serendipitous piece of collage material from your roll-offs. This is using up the very end of the paint on the brayer, a real thin coating. <laughs> and, and I guess my circle shape wasn't available. The color blue is does not affect any of your printing. When you start with a new jelly plate, it's crystal clear. But there are tints and um, colors, pigment colors, that tend to stain the plate, but it doesn't affect the printing. It just shows that it's well loved. Many printers fail to ever clear, clean their plates. They leave all the crusty edges and they love their dirty plate, kind of like eco printers who love their dirty pots for, for printing eco prints. Wow, isn't that yummy? Can you imagine trying to hand paint that kind of a design? Or this one? How nicely the blues and yellows are blending. Oh, and there's this really pretty, crispy, Delft blue botanical. Oh, now what to do with this? Hmm. Oh, maybe not. Oh, there it is. Before you know it, in my hands, it's going to become a book. What fun you will have. I'm glad you came along with me for this introduction. Have fun and consider learning how to monoprint.